Singh here is I'm going to be sharing my thoughts today on the brand new roller coaster coming to Six Flags over Texas for 2020. Uh, you may understand that this is a uh, Mac Rides Power Splash. Uh, we already have one at Wally B. Um, Belgium? Was it Belgium? Yeah, uh, I think it was Belgium that uh, recently got it or Hall. Yeah. They just got, uh, maybe Holland, I'm sorry, I think it's Holland. So, uh, they, they recently got a uh, Mac Power Plus. I forgot what year though, so just comment below, because I usually forget, because I got a lot of things to do, so uh, I forget easily now on these, because I've been very busy, like I've been saying. Uh, but, uh, if you're hearing like cars and, and motorcycle in the background, uh, guys, just, just uh, ignore that. That is actually, I'm actually filming outside because um, I don't have time to do, uh, do video at home because I got uh, to study and stuff like that. So for a few more um, stuff and then yeah. Uh, but anyways with the coaster, uh, a pretty decent ride for Six Flags Over Texas and uh, people were kind of excited that uh, a Mac Power Splash is finally coming to a Six Flags park. And actually, not only that this came out, it's been rumored a while back and finally they were able to get this thing uh, planned out so uh, but uh, normally I heard uh, normally this coaster uh, came from uh, Six Flags Dubai and um, well, what happened is when the project got cancelled they decided to just bring it over to uh, Six Flags over Texas so that they don't leave all the junk there and so that they can get rid of the blueprint right away so here here they are they're installing this roller coaster and uh, pretty similar to uh, Pulsar at uh, six uh, at uh, the um, Wally B Holland or something like that and uh, it looks pretty unique um, the only difference between um, them is the, the length of being longer and this is quite more spread out than the one at Wallaby Holland or something so uh, it is pretty unique for Six Flags over Texas and I'm glad how they fit this in because it's really it looks a lot better than the the shoot the shoots ride that uh, um, was um, approximately close around uh, last October of uh, 2018 so uh, they closed it off and they decided to replace it with a power splash I think that's what they uh, use that space for uh, right now is they're going to construct that uh, power splash in that area uh, kind of where close to Justice League is and uh, uh, Pandemonium and uh, all those other rides in the back so uh, it is really nice that they're finally getting a coaster but uh, people before were expecting a B&M wing or a floorless or a Six Flags Over Texas but that didn't happen so uh, the the Mox Power Splash was kind of a smart move that they gone for. So as you can really tell, the ride is actually uh, 708.7 feet of track. So that's probably longer than the Pulsar at Wallaby Holland or something. And this height of the, the coaster, the spike, is actually around 146 um, Point three feet tall according to um, RCDB so uh, that is pretty cool but uh, I like I said uh, it seems to be it's one of the, the better best uh, additions to um, the Six Flags chain because uh, you know finally the rumors the hype is over so uh, they finally got in it so uh, yeah, so people are now stop talking about uh, the the power splash now because uh, they finally gotten it. Well, of course, yeah. Um, so um, there are some downsides about the ride, though. Is that the only downside is that uh, they don't have that um, that um, spinning table like at the um, uh, like in um, what do you call this? Like uh, what Pulsar has so that they can run more than one boat unfortunately they don't have a spinning table probably because it it's more pricey for uh, Six Flags Over Texas so they probably couldn't afford a spin table where they can transport more than one boat so that the capacity will be a lot uh, will be a lot better 
than it currently is but uh you know it's fine it's still it's still a power splash still the same experience as the one at wallaby holland or something so uh people were not gonna really complain about it that much but you i understand you know it's just the way that the park can handle and um, what the park can afford so and uh, actually the, the top speed on this thing is 62 miles per hour so that's probably the same speed as the uh, uh, um, Premier Ride Skyrocket 2 coasters like um, Electric Eel, Super Ultimate Flight and uh, the Phobia Fear coaster on all those other ones so uh, pretty unique uh, but uh, I'm not too crazy uh, it's definitely a good addition to the park uh, what I will just say, it's actually uh, good, um, looks fun to ride and good, um, probably not going to be one of my favorites if I were to ride it, but uh, you know, that depends because I haven't ridden it so I probably can't really tell if this is a good ride or a bad ride, but it does look seem to be a good addition, so probably it's good in terms for, um, for uh, coaster enthusiasts, but uh, there yeah there are some downsides though because people have different opinions uh some people might not even like this ride uh pro probably because there are some reasons maybe they have different experiences so you know all those coastal enthusiasts they including me they have we have different opinions so uh not bad at all so what do i think about the ride well uh i can't really say anything but it does look fun to ride and it is a good addition for Six Flags over Texas. So it just, for, for me, it's just uh, mediocre uh, in words. So uh, how I could describe this ride, probably be mediocre as I, I can really tell right now. Because uh, it's just a shuttle water coaster. And uh, also the difference about this one is that it has a whole different color scheme. This is like a teal and a blue uh, coaster so it has teal track and blue supports the pulsar at six flags holland or something has blue track and i think a grayish white support structure on it so uh of course they want to make it a different color so that the gp or the enthusiasts don't get tired of seeing the same color of the, co the same coaster i mean this is not quite as a clone but pretty similar layout like i said before uh the length is the difference but you may get almost the same experience on the same ride so um yeah so it's going close to justice league like i mentioned before so yeah uh so that's all i have that's all my my thoughts on this ride uh it's only you know it, it's only a few minutes of a ride it's not really that long it's just a kind of like a u-shaped shuttle coaster and you just go up the spike and then you just launch and then your final spike going down you will then proceed to a splashdown final uh, finale and then your ride is over uh, so and then it will slowly you know reach the station and then you will then un the then the operator will unload you so then and then new pe new riders come in and then you know they first you will probably launch um, backwards throughout the back spike and then you will fall forward once again to the front spike and then once you fall back down on the spike on the front you will then uh, go to a little airtime hill and then you will launch at the same time kind of like copperhead strike on the second launch where you have that airtime hill while you launch but you're going backwards instead of forwards so in any words uh, and then once you reach the back spike you will then uh, proceed going down and then uh, and then you will do your final splash so uh, like I said before if you still didn't get it uh, I'm sorry guys uh, so uh, you will then pull out to the station you will uh, launch backwards on the back spike and then you will plunge down but you're not gonna get wet yet and then you're gonna launch going forward into the front spike so you're gonna fly by through the station and then you're gonna go through the um, to that uh, first spike and then you're gonna fall backwards at 146 feet tall and then you're gonna go drop down backwards and while you're dropping down backwards you're gonna go into the launch again while going through the airtime hill and then um, 
you're not gonna get wet just yet so you're gonna launch backwards and then after that you're gonna hit that spike I think it's also around 146 feet also and then you will then proceed going down forwards down the spike and then there's your final run to getting um, soaked and then slowly the boat will then proceed going back to the station to unload riders um, back again to where they came from and then that's it you know it's quite a short ride but it seems to be fun still fun to ride I really wish I can come and visit ceasefires over Texas in the near future or possibly in the upcoming years but you know uh, you know it's just there so uh, you can ride it as long as it's still open, so uh, this pro coaster probably won't last until a few years, or um, yeah, or for, unless forever, it will still will forever be there. But we never know. They, some most of the time they take down coasters that they don't really want anymore, and they get tired of it. Like Green Lantern, first flight, they remove it, and it only opened in 2011. So uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So now they they've um, been open for uh, eight years already correct me if I'm wrong so now they got tired of it now um, it's been sitting now it's sitting vacant so yeah uh, mediocre coaster I just can't really describe it that much but uh, yeah what do you guys think about this co coaster coming to Texas over Texas in um, 2020 so uh, yeah guys uh, but before I sign off I just want to kind of remind you guys that I I forgot to t um, tell you guys in the beginning, but uh, my apology that I'm going to start my coaster breakdown video a little bit late, but it's going to be around next month. So just apology. So please understand that uh, what's going on here. So in case you're new, I'm just gonna let you guys know that uh, I've been really working hard on um, some studies and chores, so I don't have time for all for YouTube videos all the time but um, if you guys are just sitting there watching my videos what are you guys doing please subscribe and you know and uh, please um, give this video a big thumbs up I really appreciate it and yeah uh, I'll see you guys in the next one have a great rest of the, um, your night guys